Anybody Can Play by Jocelyn Stevenson Illustrated by Beverly Phillips Featuring Jim Henson's Sesame Street Muppets A Golden Storybook and Tape Every time you hear this sound, you'll know it's time to turn the page. Are you ready to begin? Find the page where you see Bert staring out of the window. One rainy day on Sesame Street, Bert couldn't think of anything to do. He had already counted his paper clips and bottle caps and read his favorite pigeon book again. Ernie came in out of the rain, soaking wet. What a day, he said. Ha, ha, sighed Bert. Gee, Bert, old buddy, what's wrong? Ernie asked. I just wish it weren't raining so I could go outside, said Bert. But, Bert, there are lots of things you can do inside, said Ernie. He ran into the bedroom and came back with a big box. Here's your bowling ball, Bert. You can count the holes in it, he said. Thanks, but no thanks, said Bert. Then what about wearing this funny mask, asked Ernie. What's so funny about that, said Bert glumly. I know what you can do, Bert. You can think about things like penguins or tubas or elevators. But that's what I've been doing, Ernie, and it's boring. Ha! <sighs> Bert sighed again and sat down by the window. I don't have anything to do but twiddle my thumbs. What's wrong with that, Bert? Asked Ernie. He put his thumbs in his ears and waggled his fingers. And there are other nifty things you can do with your hands. I can't think of a thing, said Bert, putting his hands in his pockets. How about this? Clap your hands above your head. Bert clapped his hands three times and stopped. Forget it. He said, "But you haven't tried the good stuff yet." Cried Ernie. "Try this: make a butterfly with your hands, or how about this? You can rub your head with one hand and pat your stomach with the other at the same time." Bert just kept his hands in his pockets. There are games we can play with other parts of the body, Bert. Let's try arms," Ernie said cheerfully. "Start like this. First, make big circles with your arms. Okay, Bert. Time for a swim. Move your arms like you're doing the crawl. I don't know how to swim," said Bert. "Come on, Bert, old buddy. Try this. Touch your elbows together, or flap your arms like a chicken." Or this one is really neat. Clasp your hands over your head just like a champion. Raw! That's no fun. I wish I could go outside. Ha <laughs> ha! Said Bert. It's still raining, Bert. So let's do legs. Said Ernie. Okay. Hop and skip. Now. Walk like a pigeon. Bert just watched. Hey Bert, let's march," said Ernie. Bert looked down at his legs. Slowly, little by little, he started to march with Ernie. First, he marched with very tiny steps. Then he lifted his knees higher and higher. The more Bert marched, the more he liked it. Now let's do feet. Take off your sneakers and wiggle your toes. Bert took off his saddle shoes and wiggled his toes too. 
Then Ernie grabbed a crayon with his toes and drew a picture. So did Bert. Now let's use our heads," said Ernie. Ernie and Bert shook their heads and nodded their heads. Ernie looked up, up, up. Bert looked down, down, down. They rolled their heads in circles. Then they stopped to think. What are you thinking about, Bert? Asked Ernie. I'm thinking about what to do next, said Bert. Let's do shoulders. Bert lifted up his shoulders until they almost touched his ears. Ernie put his shoulders down. Bert put his shoulders back. Ernie put his shoulders forward. That's key. Bert said, and he began to walk around the room, moving his shoulders backward and forward. It's like marching with your shoulders. <laughs> hey, Bert! It's time for ribs. Put your hands on your sides and feel your ribs go in and out when you breathe," said Ernie. "You're right. That's almost more fun." Than a flock of pigeons. What else can I do with my ribs? Bert cried. You can count them," said Ernie. So Bert counted his ribs. What else, Ernie? What else are ribs for? He asked. Well, Bert, old buddy," Ernie said. Ribs can be tickled, and he tickled Bert's ribs until Bert couldn't help laughing. No, Ernie, 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 Ernie. Oh no! <sighs> What's next? Gasped Bert. We can do backs, Ernie said. What in the world can I do with my back, Ernie? Bert asked. I don't know, Bert. I'll rest while you give it a try. So Bert bent his back. And then he touched his toes. He leaned to one side and then to the other. Then he started to twist from side to side. Come on, Ernie! Don't just sit there. Let's do the twist. Hot dog! Let's do the whole body now, Ernie," said Bert. Look, I can be a bird. Or an elephant, or a frog, or a snake. This is really fun, Ernie. <laughs> But Ernie was too tired to play anymore. Bert began leaping around the room, dancing and turning somersaults. Ernie looked out the window. Hey, Bert! Guess what? It stopped raining. Now we can go outside," he said. "Not now, Ernie. I still have to do my wrists," said Bert. Ernie went outside and sat on the stoop in the sun. Ooh, I know something else that my body can do," he said. "It's called resting," and he fell fast asleep.